What is up guys and welcome back to sunny Spain, which is actually freezing today. Well, freezing by our standards anyway. So anyway, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about a mod packs. We're starting a little bit differently. We're starting on the curse launcher if you're wondering what this is. And uh, yeah, we're going to be starting right here with uh, my mod pack that I made. So if you know, uh, I am currently playing uh, two, well, kind of like three mod packs. Um, I'm playing all the mods, FTB hermit pack and uh the avant 3 mod pack now these are all really great mod packs i love them like loads but they all kind of have a little bit different mod so what i thought is why don't we add all the mods into one pack so what i've done here is i've created a pack called patriotically minecraft as you can see it's created by you it does say here created by you user created profile so that's just to prove you know it's created by me and i'm not just some like person who says it is and what i'm going to do right now today is i'm going to go through all the mods this has available now i don't know if you actually can download this yourself in the curse launcher i think you should be able to but i don't know um but if you can, then definitely go and download it because, you know, it's a really awesome pack. It took me a fair while to make, not too much. Uh, but it's pretty cool. So what we've got here is we've got on resource packs quickly. I've installed the Faithful pack and the Sortex Fanver modded pack. So, uh, you know, depending on what your texture preferences are, you've pretty much got the two best options available to you right here. So, if we've got installed mods, these are all the mods we go through. There's like 189. I've also got it open down here, as you can see, which we're going to go into later. But, yeah, I'm going to run through the mods quickly here and tell you kind of what they do. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, actually, additions adds, obviously, those cool drills and stuff and uh, loads of additions to the game. It's really awesome. Advanced chimneys adds, like, uh, smoker blocks that you produce, like, smoke effects. So, you can actually have a chimney. You can have a fire in a hole and the smoke will go up your chimney. Um, advanced generators adds more generators, like, massive multi-block structures that produce L, F, and EU. Um, advanced swords adds, obviously, like, advanced swords that you can upgrade yourself without an enchanted table and add extra effects to them and everything. Architecture craft is, uh, if you guys knew a mod called Carpenter Blocks in Minecraft 1.7.10, that's pretty much the same as that. Uh, this allows you to make slanted blocks and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. Um, Armor Plus adds, obviously, more armor. Um, Aroma 1997 Core is the core for this mod, which adds a... in quotation commas a mining world uh what you can use to do pretty much whatever you want it's just super flat but really good for mining um aroma backup obviously backs up your world ever so often also packager you can uh, build a, a structure like a what makes one block uh that um combines your items into either two by two or three by three you can configure that on the block itself really awesome backpacks add backpacks bagginses adds well bags as you can see we'll just go into it here i can obviously just click on the mods and see what they do um if my internet decides to Load. Obviously, bagginses adds bags, like I said, so it's pretty cool. I have loads of different uh, backpack types in case you want different types. Baubles, obviously, is used for other mods. Better Builder's Wands adds, uh, like, the Diamond Wand, Iron Wand, and Stone Builder's Wand. Might add a Gold one as well. Um, that are just better than the normal one. Like, the Gold one can do, like, the Diamond one, I mean, can do, like, 1,600 blocks at once. It's ridiculous. Uh, better Bedrock Gen makes flat bedrocks at the bottom of the world, which is really good. Um, better FPS, obviously, is supposedly meant to make you get better FPS. Biomes of Plenty, uh, I have that. I'm running that at the moment. Uh, it's really awesome, obviously. Uh, you know, Biomes of Plenty does. Um, blood Magic uh, obviously adds a system where you can, you know, do magic with blood. It's really awesome, really good mod. Bookshelf um, is like, a, I think it's a library thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a library. It's a library pack mod thing. Yeah, for other mods. Um, we've also got, uh, if we go down to here, we've got Britannia. You know what that is? It adds magic with plants. Um, Brandon's Core is a core. Obviously, Bullseye adds new arrows to the game. Uh, calculator adds calculators that can do all different sorts of things. You've got hunger calculators, like uh, scientific calculators, awesome calculator that can do awesome things. It's not like maths. Don't worry, guys. I wouldn't add that into a mod pack. There's nothing wrong with maths. If you like maths, go for it, but not me. Um... Chameleon, I'm pretty sure this is a library again. Yeah, it's a library. Um, a library is just a, another mod that gives uh, stuff to other mods to help them run in. Or a specific mod. Char set, I don't I can't remember what this does. Um, it adds, oh yeah, a lot, a lot of different pipes to the game so you can pipe items around. It's kind of like, uh, we don't have build craft in this pack. Obviously, your project red. So uh, that's kind of like a kind of substitute for it. Adds cool pipe and stuff. It's really good. Chest transport, obviously you can transport chest. Chisel, you know what that is. You can chisel blocks to make it look nicer. Chisel and bits. You can take uh, chunks out of blocks and design them to literally however the hell you want. You can make a block completely what you want, add extra bits of blocks to it, and awesome stuff. It's great. You can make your own blocks, technically. Uh, a library, another library. Combat help uh, adds help to combat. It's really awesome. You can uh, set your own, like, uh, uh, what's it called? Pre configured, like, uh, selections of items in your hotbar. It's really awesome. Uh, so you could, like, click one and it would go to like, your combat setup. 
pretty cool. Um, we have got, I've tried out all these mods, by the way, just so you know. Uh, Compact Solars is added, adds, you know, like, uh, blocks into IC2, so you can have, like, eight, uh, solar panels in one block. I'm pretty sure eight, or, uh, eight EU a tick, obviously. So it's like a space saver, pretty much, and lag saver. Cooking for blockheads, obviously you can cook a lot easier, especially with Pants Harvest Craft, that's amazingly useful. Uh, craftable Horse, Armor, and Saddle, uh, obviously lets you craft form Horse, Armor, and Saddle, and this is the same, but lets you craft name tags. Um, if you want to see any of these mods used, then definitely check out the Let's Play I'm going to be doing on this pack. Obviously, it's going to replace all the other mod pack let's plays I'm doing for 1.10 at the time being. Like, it's going to replace uh, all the mods and Hermit pack. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be really awesome. Uh, crafting tweaks. Obviously, tweaks to crafting. You can, you know, auto sort the crafting thing. I don't know if that really makes sense. You can rotate it. Uh, do awesome stuff with it. It's cool. Crossbows mods. Add crossbows because I really want the Tigger's Constant crossbows, but they're not in yet. Which is a real shame because they're amazing. Um, Cyclic is another mod which adds kind of like a magic y kind of random stuff. It's kind of cool. It adds a bunch of stuff. As you can see down here, magic and random. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, I do know what all these mods are, but sometimes I just lose things. Like, I know what they are, but I just want you to see what they are as well. Dark Utilities obviously adds dark utilities to the game to like dark and dangerous in what they do. Deep Resonance uh, is a way to generate, well, a really cool tech mod, which actually also adds ways to generate power. It pretty much is a way to generate power. Um, with crystals that you can uh, take power out of them, etc. Like, that's really awesome. Draconic Evolution, very late game mod, which adds extremely overpowered, but extremely hard to get, difficult to get items, which are absolutely sick. So, it's really great, that is. Um, and obviously, this mod pack is always regularly updated. I can just update it by clicking these buttons here, and, you know, then I might have to sort out a few comfort guides, etc. But it's fine. Uh, drawers and bits lets you store chisel bits in drawers. Uh, enchanting plus obviously makes it easier. The enchanting system, you can see what your enchantment will give you straight away instead of it giving you that random blab, or is it this or is it that, or whatever. Uh, end metals adds ores to the end. Well, obviously, ender compass, instead of throwing ender eyes into the sky to find a, comp to find a stronghold, you use ender compass. Great. Ender IO, you're not Ender IO, it adds loads of sick machines. Ender Storage is uh, like it usually in 1.7.10, it adds bags and Ender Chests to the game, which are much better than the vanilla ones. Uh, ender Utilities, uh, it's kind of the same, but it adds like Ender Packs and Ender Chests and Ender Items of all different types. It's really cool. It's really, really, really cool. At least I think it adds backpacks and stuff. Yeah, it does. See, it is here. I'm not making things up, guys. Come on. Ender Bows, Ender lasso -y things, Ender Furnaces, and loads of random cool stuff. I've never really massively played with that extensively. A little bit, but not extensively, so that'll be new. Most of this will be new for me as well. Like, not new as in I've never tried it before, but new as in I've never gone deep into it. Like, I've kind of skipped over it in creative and etc. Um... Ender Zoo adds cool new mobs and stuff. Uh, ender Bags, obviously adds Ender Bags. Uh, ender Tanks, obviously Ender Tanks. Environmental Tech makes like the Void Ore Miner and the Resource Ore Miner a really cool tech mod, which adds really cool things. Evil Craft is obviously an evil, kind of like techy, kind of magic-y kind of mod. It's really cool. Extra Rails adds more rails to uh, Railcraft, which we do have in the pack, obviously. Extra Utilities, you know what that is, adds the Angel Ring and stuff. Extreme Reactors, the version of Big Reactors for 1.10, adds a massive multiple structures, which produce a flipping butt-ton of E, uh, not EU, RF. Um, EZ storage is an easy storage system which uh, lets you create storage systems that have, let's say, like, what is it? I think the gold one has 60,000, can hold 60,000 blocks in one, like, slot. It's great. And then you have, like, a panel to access it. It's cool. It's like uh, refined storage, but in one block and not as, like, obviously customizable. Fast Need Decay makes so when you chop down the tree, the leaves go really quickly. F FFS Fancy Fluid Storage is a way to store your fluids in, like, Custom tanks, it's great. Uh, flat color blocks uh, is uh, a kind of like difficult mod to explain. It just has loads of like color blocks that you can like customize and they look cool and yeah, they, they can glow and you can use it for building and stuff. So yeah, if you want a glowing block, you can put it into the floor and it will look like your other ones, I think. Um, where else are we now? Flat blocks, flat blocks. I'm going to try not to click on them because then it goes back to the start. Flux network is a way of transferring like uh, RF and you can do it wirelessly and stuff. Forestry, we know what that is. Let's make awesome farms, which I. I haven't really used since 1.7.10. Like, I haven't used it since before it changed to the massive multiple structures. I've just never wanted to, but I do want to try it. FTB Utilities obviously had some really cool chunk loading into Minecraft and FTB Utilities, the name. Uh, Four Gender Text, obviously, that's a library mod. Um, gender Stream, which lets you genetically modify bees uh, from forestry. Uh, glass Shards makes it when you break a block of glass, you get glass shards, it doesn't just break. God Weapons or God's weapons, uh, adds really OP weapons into the game, which are really sick. Uh, grapple hooks, adds obviously grappling hooks, you can fire them at a cliff and like fly up, it's cool. Um, 
Gravestones, obviously has a Gravestones when you die. Guide API and API mod, obviously Hardcore Wither, makes it so every time you kill the Wither he gets harder, which I think is how it should be anyway, because obviously it just gets too easy. Um, it doesn't obviously make it so you can break blocks, like Witherproof blocks are still Witherproof. So yeah. Immersive Engineering uh, is another like techie kind of mod, but makes like more realistic machines. It's kind of cool, it's really cool. Yeah, it is really cool. Industrial Craft, we know what that is, that's the Macerator, Electric Furnace. Or macerator, sorry, electric furnace and loads of other cool stuff. It's cool. Um, it was either that or I could have chosen Tech Reborn, but I, you can have both of them. Like all the mods, it's got all the different options. It's got like refined storage. It's got A2. It's got Tech Reborn. It's got Industrial Craft, but I, I don't like that, so I haven't done that. Uh, inventory tweaks, obviously, yes, you tweak your inventory and sort it and all stuff like that. Iron backpacks, another backpack mod. Iron chests, obviously, lets you get like iron chest, gold chest, diamond chest, obsidian chest, crystal chest, blah blah blah. JIBs adds a B overlay to JEI, so you can look up like B production, B recipes, etc. Journey map, you know what that is? It's the map in the upright corner, you can add like waypoints to it and stuff. Just enough calculation, uh, I think that's an add-on for JI, but for cal the calculators. Just enough foresty bees is an add-on for foresty bees, kind of the same as that, but in a way not as well. That's adding it for like all the bees, it's kind of difficult to explain. Just enough items, that's obviously the whole thing. Just enough resources adds like a, uh, what's it called, where the mobs are generating the world. You know, like a mob pl uh, ore placement, what's it called? I can't remember, but yeah, you know what I mean. Clee slabs, uh, lets you break one slab at a time instead of both of them. Malice's core is the core for Malice's doors, which lets you like kind of make custom -y cool doors, and it adds a cool animation to doors when they swing open. They actually swing instead of just flicking from open to close. Uh, mechanism, obviously, all the mechanism mods, mechanism generators, tools. You know, what mechanism does awesome tech mod adds cool items. Uh, mod name tooltip shows what the mod comes from in the tooltip, uh, which I obviously love. Uh, more bees adds more bees to forestry, which is really great. More overlays adds more obviously overlays. Uh, more for tool, which is like one uh, wrench thing that can be used for all the things. So when you like use it on an Ender IO machine, it will change to the Ender IO wrench and stuff like that. It's really really sick. Uh, I haven't fully tested that, but it, it's the the idea of it looks sick. Uh, so we find that again. It was down uh, here, more for tool. Mouse tweaks, uh, it adds tweaks to the mouse, it's great. Uh, multi storage is another way of storing your thing in like bags and stuff, I think. And uh, loads of other ways, it's kind of cool. Stacking hidden chests, ender chests, ender bags. Like I said, I was right, because I'm always right. I'm just kidding. Kidding, it's a joke, don't take me seriously. Um, what else are we looking at? We've got a lot of mods in here, it's, 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 it's a lot. There's a lot of mods. Multi storage, mystical agriculture is like uh, if you ever know magical crops from one point seven ten, it's them. So crops can grow diamonds and coal and everything. They're really hard to make, but they're which is I like because they should be hard to make because they're well, kind of overpowered. That's great. Natura, you know what that does as like nature kind of stuff into Minecraft. It's cool. Natural pledge is like a magicy kind of mod, I think. And yeah, it's an add-on for Britannia, which adds some like magicy kind of stuff. It's like botanical botanical add-ons, but uh, the new version of it. It's kind of cool. Um, where are we at? I need to stop clicking on things like that. Uh, nether metals, obviously adds all to the nether. Not enough wands, adds more like utility wands to Minecraft, which can do cool things like teleport and other stuff like that. Open box elevator, the old open blocks elevator into Minecraft 1.10, which is great. Uh, open computers, completely customizable computer, yeah, completely customizable computers in Minecraft is sick. Optifine, obviously not that does. Uh, or dictionary converter, you can convert ores to the different their different types. Pam Savage Craft, you know what that does, add loads of other like growable crops into the game and food. Uh, platforms, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, you can make like well cool looking bridges and train stations and sick stuff. It's really awesome. Yeah, and roller coasters and cool stuff. It's great. It's a cool looking mod. I want to make this world look nice as well. Normally I focus on functionality over looks, but I want to make this world look nice because it, 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 it deserves it. It's so cool. Pressure pipes, a way of transporting new items. Maybe I beat you. <laughs> uh, progressive automation um, is like a kind of basic -y kind of tech mod, which, you know, you can progress through. Hence the name progressive. It's good. PSI, like a magic -y kind of technological mod, is really great. Uh, PSI on the cup grades, obviously not grades for PSI. Uh, quantum Flux adds loads of cool blocks that have weird names, like the Quantum Entangler device or something. At least that was in 1.7.10. You can, like, pump cobblestone into it and it'll generate energy off the cobblestone. Quantum Storage adds deep storage units into 1.10 from um, uh, Mine Factory Loaded MFR. They're really, really awesome. They can store, like, 1.8 million items or 1.8 billion or something stupid quark again adds a load of random stuff uh rail craft obviously not that does as rails and ways of moving with minecarts a lot differently and stuff random things obviously adds random things range pumps adds pumps that can suck liquids from massively far away and you know loads of versions it's cool redstone paste lets you able to put redstone on walls upside down etc refined relocation too 
obviously it's like sorting chests so like instead of having refined storage it's like all separate chests that can do sorting stuff and all cool stuff like that so you've got that option and refined storage so you kind of got a bit of everything in the pack it's great um we've got refined storage uh we're gonna click on this we are we know what that is obviously it's the a2 thing or the remake of a2 i don't know why i clicked on it really ah uh, so stupid um there we are refined storage red aquari adds a load of random things which are really really sick uh, RF tools, we know what that does, as loads of cool stuff, and then you've got RF tool dimensions, you can make like mining dimensions that have like a solid made of diamond blocks, it's cool! Roguelike dungeons, adds uh, obviously really hard dungeons to complete, which are great, because I love dungeon loot, and I love fighting in dungeons, I really love fighting, I know loads of people don't like the combat update, I actually like it, I think it's cool, so yeah. We've got roots, a magic mod. Um, signals, adds like signals to minecarts and stuff like that, I think, it's pretty cool. We're going to make sure. Yeah, signals to minecarts. I don't know why I bother making sure. I pretty much know what they all are. I'm just really pedantic is the word we're looking for. Simple covers. Adds covers that work with MC Multipart. And they can do, they can cover up things, obviously. Simple generators. Oh, we're going to click on it. It's like the furnace generator and survival generator and stuff like that. Yeah. A survival generator. Survival generator isn't it actually in it. It's furnace generator, culinary generator, engine generator, lava generator, nether star generator. <gasps> yeah really cool that we're in 1.7.10. I really wish there was the survivalist generator. That was such a good generator. <sighs> anyway, symbol generators. Um, we've got symbol harvest. Right click to harvest stuff. It's as easy as that. Symbol conveyors. Obviously, it's conveyor belts, which are cool. Sleeping bag. That's a sleeping bag. Snat. Um, this adds it so... Oh, I'm, I'm, I've forgotten already. Oh, yeah. Sand that makes sugar cane grow faster. Because in old versions of Minecraft, it did used to. Uh, but now, obviously, it doesn't. And, uh, yeah, I just... I felt like putting it in there. You know, it'd be cool to add. It's just a cool little thing. Solar Flux Reborn adds uh, solar panels to uh, uh, the RF system that can generate RF. Yeah. Soul Shards. Uh, a way of making cool mob spawners that are, can be really fast and really OP and are great. That's a sick mod. You definitely need to watch that to see that. It's cool. No More Recipe Conflict. You can click uh, right on the uh, crafting table to look at the other recipes that have the same pattern but uh, make different things. Sound Filters. It's quite obvious what that is. We'll click on it. Uh, it adds like reverb in caves when you mine. You'll be able to hear the echo. Yeah, it adds echoes. It's just an easier way of saying it. Um, sound filters. Uh, we look at storage drawers. You know what that is? You can store a heck of a ton of items in them, and that's really cool. Super crafting frame. You can use them to craft stuff. Hence the name super crafting frame. They're really sick. Really good for early game. Terracrius. Kind of farming y kind of mod. Adds loads of really cool stuff and loads of really cool fruit trees. Agri agricultural revolution another farming thing which has loads of really cool stuff the one probe you know what that is uh, it adds the overlays of items library mod uh tinker io is a io mod for like it's an io thing for tinker io so you can like add like solid fuel into it and liquid fuel and really really automate your tinker's construct smeltery tinker's construct make cool tools and stuff like that uh tinker's add-ons add-ons tinker tinker's tool leveling you can level up your tools and every time you level up them up they get a new modifier obviously changeable in the config torch reno adds a torch that can speed up block updates and everything like that really sick but really op so i don't really use that much i just use it for testing and stuff like that so that's why i've got it transicators really cool way of transporting items uh they're little, little blocks and they transport you through particles and like matter is so sick you need to check that out it's great unidict uh makes it only one type of ingot in the game uh, at least that's what it should do. Uh, really cool. Useful nullifiers. If you have, well, you can make like an RF one, and it will suck up all the RF and destroy any RF you pump into it. Uh, Valkyrie library, library vein miner. We know what that is. You can mine groups of ores all at once. It's cool. Wow, this is 18 minutes long already. This video. Damn. Water strainer. You put it in water. You can get basic items out of it. It's really sick. It's just free generating basic items. Weapon case loot. Find them in dungeon chests, and you right click them, and they'll give you a random item from the weapon case loot mod. Really, really sick weapons you can get from here. And it's like CS:GO. You can collect like. You know, like, really good quality ones and not really good quality ones. Uh, Woot. Oh, we're gonna have a look. Uh, yeah, you build your own mob factory. Like, this is a whole complete mob factory with all sharpness and looting and everything on it. And it's in one block. Like, one little kind of stationary block. They look kind of really sick. So, yeah, I wanted to add that. So, you've seen the mods. Let's take a look at the game. The game is here. This is my own private world, but this is the world we're going to be showing you because, obviously, I've done some stuff in it. Okay, so, looking at NEI... If I remove watering from here. There's 490 pages of items. There is a massive, a massive amount of items. I'm not going to lie. There is a literally heck of an amount of items. Um, which is great because there's a lot of stuff we can do in this. So let's just take a kind of look around at what stuff is. Uh, obviously, we've got the mystical, what's it called? Mystical agriculture here. You can obviously make, uh, you know, the 
coal growing crops and stuff like that and sick it's really great um out here we've got some trees from terraqueous i think they are they are uh these are fruit trees from terraqueous they are great these grow oranges uh, we've also got fruit trees from another mod if i get them out they are really sick if we have some bowmill i don't think we do though uh no we don't so it's not gonna work me showing you this or can i use my watering can now? i might be just my watering can let's get the watering can out uh so yeah obviously i'm very behind on this at the moment like i'm not very far advanced obviously, because uh, I'm, I haven't long started. But anyway, yeah, um, do we have any from the other mod that I can show you? Doesn't look like, we, yeah, we do, yeah, we do, a lime sapling, there we go, we can get a lime sapling. Okay, these things are great, look what they do, they're great. So if we plant this guy out here, uh, let's say over here, and we try and grow him with our, with our watering can, hoping that he actually does grow. Let's see. Starting back up. There's a Roma back up. Nice showing your face. Thank you, Roma back up. Um, they'll back up your world automatically every 30 minutes, which is great. Um, it's really cool. It's, it's just a great way of doing things. I don't think this sapling's going to grow. Oh, it did. Wow. Um, right, now this is really cool what this does. Oh, we're going to need to get our axe. Let's go and get our axe. I've got four doors in this place. It's great. So useful. Um, axe. Uh, I've got Vey Miner. Vey Miner is all turned on. Obviously, you type in the chat Vey Miner C for client. Um, and then, you know, sneak or auto key thing or whatever. Yeah, you can check that out. I'm not going to do that because it sometimes messes up your vein miner. But let's go. Holding shift, which is the key I've set for vein miner. Boom. Whole tree falls down and you get an absolute metric butt ton of fruit from these trees. So that is literally like a way of generating literally like instant uh, fruit. It's great. You can generate so much in one go. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's just so great. If you're running out of food, you find one of those trees... You never have to worry again. These, obviously, the limes barely give you any saturation back, but you get so many of them, it doesn't really matter. It do, it's not it's not a big deal that they don't give you too much back because you get a metric butt ton of them, which is fine. Um, let's break this one. So, yeah, this is like what I used to farm trees because, obviously, with Veymon, you can hold shift and destroy them all. So, I just make massive trails of them and then destroy them all with one click. It's great if they're already connected, which generally they're not. But <sighs> um, So, yeah. My axe is broke. Uh, we're going to go back over here. And, um, yeah, so there's loads of cool mods. I can't really show them off yet because I haven't really got to them in this Let's Play thing. But you get what they do. You get what they are. It's great. If you're looking forward to this series, guys, definitely smash the like button on this video. It'll be great. Uh, can we hit, like, what, like, five likes, let's say? I think that'd be a sick idea. I think that'd be sick, like, to hit. And, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, like I said, smack the like button and subscribe to see this series when it comes out so you can get it straight away. The buttons are plenty shown in his face. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, we did have alternate terrain generation, but it made a lot of lag, so I removed it. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, guys, and goodbye.